Jim Bowden made a comeback with it. Tim Wakefield won a World Series with it. It took Phil Necro to the Hall of Fame. Come on, Mr. Necro got it. And R.A. Dickey uses it to dominate. Hitters call it the flutter ball, the butterfly pitch, the ghost ball, and that pitch. The knuckleball is one of a kind. If you got a good knuckleball, get over the plate, you can pitch the big leagues. Common sense would tell you if you can throw something no one else can and get batters out, demand would be through the roof, but not so. The pitch is no doubt unique, and that's its biggest problem. You don't see many because there's really no teachers out there that can teach it to them. You know, they won't let you do it in little league or high school or, or college, or if you're on a knuckleball pitcher by the time you get signed, you know, they don't have anybody in, in organization that know too much about knuckleballs. R.A. Dickey is the exception. Right now, he is the only hurler in the big leagues using the knuckler, and it's taken him to the top of the heap. Larry Dickey right now is, is going through a stretch that I've never seen any knuckleball go through. What, is he 12 and 1 now? Second in the, in the league in strikeouts, finishing games, completing games, not walking anybody, almost unhittable at times. I think he's the best pitcher in the National League right now. Unlike other players working on numerous pitches, knuckleballers have just the one. You can learn how to throw it in a day but it takes a lifetime to perfect. When you got the right one, like, like Dickie does right now, and the times when I have it, you don't care who comes up to the plate. You don't care, because you know you can get that batter out, and that batter knows I know he can get him out, and, and that's the big key. I'm Chris Clark, Fox 5 Sports.